wanted to talk about today is a little bit different than the diamond we talked about the other day. Uh, the other day I talked about a diamond that had such interesting characteristics on the inside that that became a fascinating and interesting part of the diamond. This one is interesting, exciting, and rare because it actually has no inclusions. Uh, this is completely flawless. They call it internally flawless by the GIA. In fact, it's been laser inscribed um, as such. It's a 0.77 carat, so it has a very nice look. Uh, has that one carat kind of appeal to it. Um, but what's fascinating to me, what I love about this diamond is that to have a diamond in the raw form be rare enough that it is completely flawless on the inside, oftentimes the cutters will take that crystal and try to maximize the weight. Um, in other words, add, put a little bit more size on a part that's not necessary so that it could be a heavier internally flawless diamond. What's special about this diamond and why I love it so much is that it is cut so well. Uh, it's perfectly round. It has the hearts and arrows effect throughout the whole outside of the diamond, um, aligning all of the facets from the pavilion to the crown to the table, all align up so perfectly with one another that it creates this star pattern. And what's neat about this is that on its own, the pattern is wonderful and fine, but what it does for me is it tells you what that diamond is gonna do in natural light. It tells you that when just a little minimal amount of light hits that diamond, it's gonna come out and explode, not just on one side or the other, it's you're gonna get this full fire of brilliance coming throughout the whole diamond. And so to have a diamond that is internally flawless and be cut as well as it is, to me, uh, that's the thing that I love about this diamond. Um, and so oftentimes you think uh, an internally flawless diamond could be um, incredibly expensive or unattainable. Um, this one, in fact, is $39.99. Uh, it's a forever mark diamond, round brilliant, hearts and arrows. Um, and that's why I love this diamond.